All right, let's get this show on the road. I think everything is working correctly. Uh, let me know if the sound is a little bit off um, as far as the music. <clears throat> but uh, this is very exciting because it is time to start a, uh, a new fort. We, we went on for, like, what was it 71 episodes with our previous one? So we're finally going to be getting a new one. And we have moved up to version 0.43, as you can see up here. Uh, which means it doesn't do a lot with fortress mode. Um, but we're going to do something different this time. So the plan with this fort... I get this question asked quite a bit. Or not really a question, it's more of a statement, I guess. Of uh, I, I wish there was some way that you could build your fort and then go attack like the goblins or whatever. And uh, we're going to sort of do that with, with this series. This is going to be... What we're going to do today with this stream or with the first five episodes, if you're watching this on YouTube, is we're going to build a, uh, a fort. We're going to build a rather creative fort, I think. Um, and then, starting next time with the next stream or episode six, if you're watching this on YouTube, we're going to switch over to adventurer mode. We're going to, re we're going to retire the fort for now. We're going to grab an adventurer from our fort, and then we're going to recruit some of our people and then try to go out and kill things or steal artifacts or do whatever. Um, so that's the plan for this series. We will, basically this, this first day of streaming is going to be the, the build a fort day. And then next time, probably next Monday or episode six, we're going to go and, uh, and loot and steal and, and, and do that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and get in here. First we have to start up and build a new world. This is very exciting. It's been a long time since I made a new world. Very exciting. I gotta click the button and hit enter. Okay, so, version 43, there's not a lot of new things with fortress mode with version 43. However, with uh, with adventure mode, you can now, like, you can build your own little places. You can, like, craft walls and doors and things. So that's rather interesting. Uh, we're going to start with a small world so my computer doesn't choke. Um, everything else, we're going to crank it up, though. Number of sites, beasts, savagery. Yeah, we went with those on high. No work more. That's fine. Okay, let's do it. So now in... Oh, that sound. I gotta get rid of that sound. Uh, this is... What's the name of it? Smaxo? Smaxmo? Smaxmo Augusp. The land of Portent. Okay. We'll do, I think I did medium time, I think. So that's going to be 250 years. So we'll let it build. So we've got a lot of civilizations. So hopefully we'll have a lot of variety in here uh, of things to deal with. Oh, look. There's actually a human sieve down here. Oh, we got a necromancy tower on this little bitty island. Yeah, we're using... The graphic pack we're going to be using is Phoebus. Uh, is my chat not showing up? It's not showing up. Uh, it never works. Work chat. While this is building, we will fix chat. Hey, you are. Hey, chat. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna start with Phoebus. I like. I. I. I have grown on uh, on Phoebus. I. I always when I first when I played this game before, I always played on Iron Hand just because that's that's what I kind of learned on watching Quill Eighteen and and. Um, that's what I started initially playing on, but um, I tried Phoebus out a couple times ago, and and I like it. It's um, it's not quite as dark and gritty as uh, like Iron Hand is, but it uh, things show up really well, and it has a lot to it. So you don't get a lot of duplicate uh, images. Nor some of the world build. We may not go. We're not going to go the two whole 250 years because I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes. But we need to get a little bit of time. Check it out. So we have a necromancy tower here, and we have a human town there. There's a human town there as well. Looks like the humans have mainly taken over this town. However, there's necromancers down here. Hmm. I kind of wish it was on this side. So yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be building a pirate ship. We're going to build... Well, we've, I've always done kind of a, a typical boring old fort. Well, not always. I guess we did an above ground one last time. Um... But anyways, where you like tunnel into the ground and you build your bedrooms and stuff like that. So we're going to try building a boat this time. We're going to start on the ocean, essentially. We're going to have one patch of like forested land next to us so we can harvest some trees and go build a boat. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it goes. It may, it may not go well at all, but I, we'll, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I really wish this Necromancy Tower was over here. Is there a way? I haven't played a lot of Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. Can you... Do adventure mode and get across the sea. Is that possible? Uh, can I go from here to here with adventure mode? Can you get like boats? Is that something? I don't know. Look, I got a volcano over here. So we have some uh, goblins or something here, here. We've got what, four or five different goblin sets. We've got a ton of. Are those elves? Yeah, we got a bunch of elves. Ton of elves in here. 
Where's all the dwarves at? Is this it? Surely not. Where'd my music go? Is that really the only dwarves we have in this whole place? Is this? That's kind of cool. I think I, I like that. We want to stop it now. What are we at? 185? Yeah, we're going to stop it now. It's going really slow. 186. So we can stop it now and we'll, and we'll, uh, we'll continue. But let's take a look. So I think... Unless, unless someone else sees another one somewhere else. This is the only one I see. We have a dwarven fortress here. And then... Oh, this, that's human. This is a... That's a human hillock. Okay. We have this dwarven fortress right here. Called the Ashen Beak. Um, I don't see any more dwarves. But that's cool. That means that... So I want to keep this world around. Kind of like what I did with version 42. I would like to keep this world around uh, for, the, for the entirety of, um, of version 42. You can cross the ocean in adventure mode. Okay, excellent. Um, so... Um, what that means is, with every fort we make, we should be growing the Dwarven Empire. Hopefully. Because there isn't one right now. That means we'll probably be getting a king <laughs> before too long, if this is the only Dwarven place that we have. So we've got... So those of you, there's a few of you in here right now, that don't know how to read the map. Um, essentially, purple is savagery, which would be like goblins and trolls and whatever. Um, the, um, like the pound signs and, uh, and zeros and... Um, like this one over here. These are all human towns or some sort of human settlement. The yellow eyes and like the, um, what's that sign? That one. That sign is like a, a elven retreat. Um, what else do we have? Anything else? You can see kind of some roads and rivers and things in here. Um, you can even a cursor over here and see, and see what they are. Like we've got Dark Goblin Fortress. Anything down here? No, this looks like nothing. Um, what are you? Human Tower. So it says it's a human tower, but I'm guessing it's a human necromancy tower. Human town of Konuum. Uh, so anyways, okay. Let's use it. Played 30 plus hours, and I already make some wet stable fortresses, but I have problems with water resources freezing on winter. Uh, the way, if you... You can build, like, a... If you go underground, and then build your um, well, that'll keep it from freezing in the wintertime. So we'll offload some units. Let's take a little bit. But then we're going to... I want to go check out Legends mode and just sort of see what kind of civs we've got. Um, I'll probably do another video on this. I should have exported that. I forgot. I'll do another video separately so we can kind of explore the world a little more. Because I want to spend all the time. Because I could spend a lot of time in, in, uh, in Legends mode. But we'll just take a quick look at it just to sort of get an idea of what empires and things we have around the world. Because we're going to spend some time in this world. Plus, if we're going to build our Dwarven fort here and then take our adventurers out running around, we need to see what, we, what we've got around us. What was the name of this place? This is a, It was a weird name for this land. I don't remember what it was, though. Something strange. Okay. So, let's start with just year 10 and kind of see what's going on. So, we're down here, right? It was us. The, um... Which one were we? We're the top one, right? That's us. The Mansion of Dawns. Is that the name of our uh, dwarves? Yeah. The Mansion of Dawns is the name of a dwarves. Brannigus. Brannigus. It's got to be some sort of... I guess it could be the humans? I don't know what that one was. I don't think so. Here's the humans down here. They pretty much own this island. Actually, you know what? They don't. Who else is over here? There's actually quite a few people in this little spot. Up to year one here. The Empire of Embraces, and... That's their town. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff on that little island. It's pretty empty over on this side. Let's go to the what, year one... What did we end up like? Year 160, 170? 180, here we go. So there's a lot, of, a lot of empty room over here. We have the volcano this way. I think I want to start where there's a lot of action. Um, maybe somewhere in, in this way. This is where our dwarves are. We could stick kind of close to our dwarves, but there's a lot of other folks around this way. Now we can see the humans. There's, of course, a lot of goblins and things that are around here. We have this. I guess these jays that you see popping up is all a ton of elves. There's a ton of elves over there. So, yeah, we'll pick a spot somewhere over here. Uh, let's here, let's export. How do I go? Do 
we go. Let's export this one. All right. Uh, do we need to look at anything else? Mansion of Dawns. Is this? This is. This is the. Yeah, the Mansion of Dawns. That is like the soul sieve of dwarves that I saw. That's cool. All right. Let's begin. Dwarf Fortress. To find aquifers, I mean, I have to make a find a. You can make a pool underground, so you can dig your dig from like if you have a river, dig a sort of a a, a tunnel. Or something, or a, a, just a shaft, and then have it go down and into a pool underground, and then dig a another channel underneath it, just above it. Let me see my hands here. So you've got your pool underground, and then the channel above it, and then you can dig straight down from that. Have your well above it, but your well will be above the pool, but will still be underground technically. Just even one layer underground would be fine. That way, it won't freeze in the winter. Okay, so where are we going to begin? Um, I think I want to start somewhere over this way. The um, man next to the necr necromancy tower would be is is a rather enticing. Should we just do that, or should we stick with what's this over here? Mansion of Dawns. Yeah, that's the only sieve that's anywhere near here. That's that's it. That's it. The whole world. Mansion of Dawns. Um. So what we could do? So I I um I tested a little bit with um with building a boat. And I thought, you know what, the, maybe the best way of doing this would be to start, since we start like at the very beginning of spring, start with like a frozen area, dig out our boat real quick, and then uh, and then and then live on it. However, uh, it's very unpredictable when the place will thaw and you can't quite get a boat built fast enough. And one of the ones I tested out, we let, uh, all six of my seven dwarves died immediately because the, the frozen ice just bloop, went water and they all drowned. So we're going to stick somewhere warm. If we are... Let's see here. Here's our Dwarven homeland, which is tiny. It's so tiny. Um, is, that's not, is that us too? No, that's the humans. Right? There's a lot of goblins around. This is a mansion of dawns, though. This is your, that's your civilization, though. That's, I think that's a human. That's what it said before. So, all right. Anyways, um, so we've got we can see a human hamlet here. Uh, we don't have a lot of savagery too close to us. We could go either down here or somewhere over here, or right next to the necromancy tower. Which would be cooler. I think the necromancy tower would be cooler. Even though it's over here, I think we've got to do it. So let's figure out what is this over here. No trees, eh? We gotta have trees. That's woodland, but it's not on the water. What if we do something like... Something in there is woodland. Um, what about something like that? And then make it like... Might be a little much. Where are we here? And we're right next to a human town. We could try something like this and then even make it a little bit bigger. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Wrong button. Or even something like that. Because the squiggly line is a swamp. We don't want to be in a swamp. But the other one, I think, is trees. Yeah, it's, it's a woodland area. So that way, we, so we'll have trees to build our, uh, to get our wood. We'll build a bridge over and build a boat. And then we're going to be right here next to this town. Let's be, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's go closer to the Necromancy Tower. It's right there. Can we put it... We probably could put it, like, right next to it. Like, right here? Like, right there. What about that? 
So we get we got trees. We are some we are essentially right next to the uh, the necromancy tower. But that's fine. That's exciting. Uh, we're gonna have an aquifer, which is probably gonna be okay because we're not gonna do a lot of digging. But we do need fresh water. We can't drink seawater. We can also just drink alcohol. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. Uh, yeah, saltwater difficult, aquifer difficult. Uh, your selected civilization civilization is dead or dying. Your dwarves might assume important positions. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Um, do we want to prepare carefully? No, let's just do it. Let's just go in there. We probably should pick more axes and things, but yes, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, you have right. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for all the glory of Muthkat Kador. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the lions get hungry. The chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Thus Butzafon. Thus, thus Butzafon? <laughs> a drilled fountain. Strike the earth. All right. Drilled fountain. Okay. Uh, we don't have a lot of trees, but there's a few... Hopefully enough to get us by. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. So, the water, I'm assuming it'll the waves will crash into, typically that's how it works. You, have, you can see waves like crashing into the, into the land. Yeah, I'm on both YouTube and Twitch. Let's, um, oh, we got more. We got more over here. Not a lot of trees, though. What is this? Termites. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get our trees set. Uh, I want you to stay here. And we're you know we're just gonna chop them all down and then set up a wood stockpile right over here. Just set it right here. I guess we'll build. So we're gonna build like a like a pier, I guess, and. Um, Let's see what happens. Is the water moving? Oh, the water's not even moving at all. I'm gonna check that out. There's like a shelf here. Interesting. Oh, though, there it is. There it is. Uh, it's gonna wash away all my stuff. This is a terrible place to start. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, okay, so the first thing we need to do is before the waves like wash everything away. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. Make a food stockpile over here. Let's just get everything off of the uh, the cart. Um, if we I don't think we have any armor, but we'll get a little bit of armor moved off. Weapons, if we have any, which is P. Um, we should have a little bit of cloth, typically, and bar block leather. Leather. I don't think we're gonna have any of that either. We will have a bit of furniture and a bit of finished goods. Okay, and then let's go ahead and... <laughs> this is a terrible place to start. Let's go ahead and remove the wagon. Um, where is... I need Dwarf Therapist. Notice I turned off my, my FPS counter. Because I spent too much time panicking about that. Are you at Dwarf Therapist? There you are. Okay, so our doors. We have uh, Astesh... Reg, Sroras, Solon, Ubel, Ushat, and Ustuth. If anybody in chat wants to be a dwarf, or if you're on YouTube uh, watching this later and you want to be a dwarf, then let me know and I'll put you in there next time. Um, so we probably should turn our auto labor on just for now, but I think we'll be okay. Um, in fact, you know what we're going to do it just, just for now. Just to get through all of the hauling and all of that. Which one do I want? This one. Because I got other things to be dealing with. Oh, I want to do spell. Okay. You want Tutus as a dwarf? Okay. You can be, I don't know, Salon here. Who's, who's, let's see who's good at stuff. We should add a 100 minor. Do you want to be a girl? Hey, Sean. You're going to be a girl because you got a 100 minor. Let's 
Let's see. We probably should take a look at our dwarves here, see what we've got. Um, I need to pause the game, though. Here, let's let's go ahead and start building some things, and we can go look at that. So, I think the best way of doing this, if we just build a... We need to build, like, a bridge out to the water in order to get our boat started. Um, if we just build it flat, it's going to get washed away. And they're going to set wood down, and it's going to get washed away. It's going to be a real pain. So, we're going to start, I guess, like, right here, where the water doesn't quite get to. And... We're going to build some stairs. Let's like put them, like... Box select. Something like that. Um, guava wood. Something like that. And then we're going to put downstairs on top of those. And then we'll build a cross. No one's been washed away. Wait, is there anything out here? A pangolin. What's a pangolin? That sounds familiar. Is that like a... Um, small mammal covered in hard scales. Long nose and tongue, which you use to feed. What is a pangolin? Hang on, I gotta, I gotta look it up. Where am I? Here we go. Pangolin. Do you get pangolins as pets? Oh, that's a strange animal. Can you see that? Yeah. That's a pangolin. Where do pangolins live? I don't know if I've ever heard of it. Interesting. They live in Asia. Okay. We we'll learned something today on the Discovery Channel of Dwarf Fortress. Okay, we're going downstairs up on top of this. So lots of wood being cut. Uh, let's go ahead and set up an animal spot. Um, oh, bull wraith. Okay, I'll get you in there. Bull wraith as a dwarf. Let's go here and make it a pen pasture. And do I have anybody that needs to be in there? Yeah, cow and water buffalo. You know what? Um, should I do everybody? No, nah, it's fine. Just those. Yeah, I don't ever look. If it's a girl or a boy, it doesn't matter. What's it matter? They're all the same. They're all dwarves. Okay, bull wraith. I'll pick one for you. Um, is anybody good at anything? Labor's full. We want this. There we go. No one really has any skills of anything, so we're just going to pick one. Bull wraith. So we've got our upstairs and downstairs done. Now we're going to start building a floor. And this floor is going to extend out to the water. It's going to take a little while to build. Does it need to be three? We'll just do two for now. Let's get it out to, like, right here, up past the waves. I mean, that's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. Die from overheating. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that I've seen one die from overheating. You can die from not drinking. I'm not sure if that's in the game or not, actually. Take out that tree. Is there any more trees? What is this? Oh, there's the pangolin. Oh. Well, check it out. It even kind of looks like one. It looks like, well, it looks like a squiggle. Uh, oh, we have a lot more trees down here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get them done. And then we're going to set up a, um, a gathering thing. Let's grab some plants. And let's get a little bit of growing going. Oh, that's a lot, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get our still set up. So our dwarves, because it's going to be... I want to get the still on the boat. But for now, we're just going to set it up here just so we can have... Does that say kumquat logs? <laughs> uh, and we want to build a... Not a bed. A... Um, you know, not a M. There we go. Build a farm plot. And let's just set it. We only got seven dwarves. We just need that. That's fine. And we'll get something growing. It won't be underground. It won't be plump helmets or anything. But uh, we'll get something at least started so we can get a little bit of a bit of alcohol going. I don't know. I, I thought about doing one like in a uh, in a desert sort of climate. I don't know what the challenge would be with that actually. I'm not sure. Is that done? That was quick. We have no seed at the moment. Yeah, that's, that's kind of why I do I stream on both, because sometimes YouTube works better for folks, and other times Twitch works better for folks. Also, I don't have much of a Twitch audience. I just started streaming, like, uh, what, a couple weeks ago? Three weeks ago? So, it's uh, it's disheartening to uh, stream on Twitch only and get, like, zero viewers. <laughs> I 
Okay, so we're just moving along. We're getting this thing built eventually. Um, you know what? We could probably set up a bit more crafters. Like, you know what? Everyone can do carpentry. That way, at least we'll get some folks in here uh, building. Oh, auto labor. Dang you, auto labor. Alright, we'll set up a couple then. Did it stay? Yeah. It doesn't want me to do everybody. Wow. We can turn auto labor off. We may need to. Hey, Wallace. We're building a boat, Wallace. That's what's happening. How's my still looking? Still. Okay, I want you to extract. Do it all the time. Oh, that sound. I gotta remove that sound. That sounds terrible. No plants that I can do. Um, I don't think... Can you fish from the sea? You should be able to, but I don't... For some reason, I'm thinking you can't. Oh, yeah, there's fishing. Fishing. There we go. I have no problem not running out of plump helmet spawns this version means you aren't running out of plump helmet spawns or you're having a problem running out of them 